Hi, I'm Carla. Hi, I'm Tracy. Our job here at Topline is to prevent our members from financial fraud and scams. It's National Consumer Protection Week, and we'd like to talk to you about common financial scams, how to understand the warning signs, and to not become a victim. It's tax season and scammers take full advantage of this time of year. You may be contacted by someone pretending to be from the IRS via phone, text, email, or social media. IRS notices are only sent by mail. The IRS will not contact you by email, text, social media, or call you threatening lawsuits or arrests. And the IRS will never ask you to wire money, pay with a gift card, or share your credit card information over the phone. These skimming devices are being placed over existing terminals in retail and gas stations throughout the Midwest. They look just like the originals, so when you enter your card or swipe it, it captures your data information. After the scammers have collected enough data, they will go back and remove the devices to create fraudulent cards. Always check your bank statements and banking apps to verify the purchases made by your card. Another common scam involves gift cards. Anyone who demands payment by gift card is always a scammer. Gift cards are for gifts, not for payments. Scammers may reach out to you by phone call, social media, text, or email demanding payment for something. For example, scammers may send you a check for something that you are selling, but the amount you receive is more than you're selling the item for. The scammer will then ask you to deposit the check and send the difference of funds back to them by purchasing gift cards at your local merchants. After purchasing the gift cards, they will demand the card number and additional information on the card instead of sending it to them in the mail. The money will be given back to the scammer and the check that was deposited will be returned, leaving you out the money and liable for any fees. If you have been a victim of any of these scams or an attempt at financial fraud, please call Topline and we would be more than happy to assist you.